The Gospel of November the 30th, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus said to his disciples Be watchful, be alert You do not know when the time will come It is like a man traveling abroad He leaves home and places his servants in charge Each with his own work And orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch Watch therefore You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Lord wants us to be watchful. We start the first Sunday of Advent, this beautiful time that precedes the mystery of the Incarnation of Christmas, of Nativitas. And it is very convenient also that we can just have a glimpse of the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, from the prophet Isaiah. It says, You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants. No ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen any God but you, doing such things, such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. There is no one who calls upon your name. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. This is very tender. Since the beginning, Our Lord is telling us, through the prophet, teaching us, you are our Father. In Hebrew, we read Abinu, Goalam, Olam Shemu. That means exactly this, you are our Father, our Redeemer is your name, since always. Abinu, which is the same word that the Lord Jesus uses when he is asked to teach his disciples to pray. When you pray, say Abba, Abba Na. Perhaps in Aramean, he would have said Abana, which is also like Abinu. Abinu in Greek, Abana in Aramaeum, our Father. But not only our Father in, in this very respectful, um, perhaps too respectful way, but rather in a very close relationship. You are our Father, you are our Dad. We, we are the clay, you are the potter, we are all the work of your hands, and he will meet us to all, to everyone that look for him. We enter into this time of Advent to prepare ourselves, not that we are again without the Lord, for we celebrate Mass every day, and he is among us. We have his word and we have his spirit. We also have his, we already have his redemption because he incarnated himself once and for all and he will be coming back a second time but in order for, for him to judge us he will be coming in all his glory. But right now the Lord says be watchful, be alert, do not fall asleep. Why do we have to be watchful? We have to keep our fist garment clean 
You have to remain in grace. We have not to contrite the Holy Spirit that was given to us. And in that regard, there are four points that we must do, or at least try as much as we can to do. The first one is to pray. It is excellent if we could pray in the morning and in the evening. And before you sleep, you can examine your conscience. In that way that I always suggest, three lights and one cross. That is the Jesuitic way, as I was taught. Three minutes to count the actual blessings of your day. And just one minute to see where you failed the Lord. In that way, you will realize by comparison, by contrast, how the love of God is constant, eternal. He never rejects you, me, or any of his children. He's always blessing us. And when we feel blessed, we feel loved. And it entices us to love him back. That is the only way. So three lights, one cross, perhaps another minute to ask him for strength the next day. But do, do pray in the morning and in the evening. And if you can pray more, it's better. The second thing is exactly what you're doing in this little bit, hearing his words. Hearing his words in faith and asking himself what he wants you to do today. The third one is also very important, that you might get into the sacraments. Confession, reconciliation, which is the same, communion, the Holy Communion in the Eucharist. You want to participate in the Eucharist, which is very important. And of course, of course baptism, matrimony, and the unction of the ill. And finally, the most important one, to produce the do fruits. Once you have prayed, you have heard the word or the gospel, you have been renewed by the sacraments, you are strong enough to produce those beautiful fruits that the Lord was talking about last Sunday. Because I was hungry and you fed me. Because I thirsted and you gave me water, you gave me to drink. Because I was nude and you dressed me. Because I was a foreigner and you welcomed me. Because I was ill and you tended me. Because I was in prison and you visited me. May his second visit or the time when we are asked to in his presence, meaning the time when we are called from this life into the presence of God, finds us doing exactly that, that we might enjoy Him being in heaven forever. God bless you all, brothers.